Hello, what is up guys? Evil do us arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Nova class here in Black Desert, give you my first impressions of the class having played it for a day, go over some of the combos and tips and tricks that I've learned while playing it, and I'll try to explain the guard mechanic to you and show you why instead of being one of the most annoying things, it's actually probably the most broken thing in the entire game. Now quickly before we get into all of that, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, and you've been watching the videos but you still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you'll stay up to date when new content comes out like this, and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off by saying my first actual impressions here of this class. So if you were a part of the live stream yesterday, you'll have seen a lot of different gameplay and whatnot, and generally speaking, the Nova feels like a slowish class, but it's also really fun to play. Every single ability feels meaningful. Honestly, it feels sort of like the Guardian, but not quite. I've been playing more of the summoner side of it using the command skills, and it's been a ton of fun using the different summons and whatnot to do all these crazy AOE damages. Tons of fun, really enjoy it, but it's not a fast class like the Musa is, which is my main character, as many of you know. Now, with that said, there's a lot of stuff I learned during this live stream from people that were watching, as well as things we just learned while playing through it, and there's a lot of stuff I want to share with you, so rather than go through all of these different things, let's just get right into like mini guide information and help you learn how to play the class. So before I start showing you some combos, I do want to point out that there is a spreadsheet linked down below, Google Sheet right here. I've got just all of the different abilities and how they chain that we're going to go over here in this little bit of video footage, as well as the name of the skill and the button you need to press to activate the skill. So I'm not going to pop them up on screen because I think that's frustrating. You can just open this sheet up and follow along as we go through it. But we're going to start off with the mobility skills since your first complaint with this class is going to be how slow it is to move from location to location. And we have three main abilities. The first one is Icy Fog, which is just this left and right dash by hitting shift and then any directional key. However, this ability can be chained into a further dash if you use it forward. So if you hit Shift W and then hold Shift W at the end of it, you will dash forward for a longer distance. This is via the ability Quad Thermomem's opening right here. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. Sorry. This is going to end you off in the guard stance, which a lot of people are pissed about. But I'm going to show you here in a few seconds that this is the absolute most busted mechanic in this game. And you're going to love guard stance after this. But anyway, until then, complain about it that you're in guard stance and you can't move very quickly. Now, right above this ability, the opening ability, we have Punishing Trap 1, and this is our other main movement skill. This one's also super easy to use. It's WE. You'll shoot your mace forward and dash forward. This will also end you in the guard stance, which, once again, is probably one of the most broken stances in the game. So that's pretty much it for movement. The next thing you're going to end up complaining about, though, is going to be resource management. So your SP bar down here is going to burn through like nothing when you're using all the different command skills, and there's really not too many ways to recover it. We have two abilities. It is the Icy Kiss ability, which is a little kick, and Face the Darkness, so the Face the Darkness ability. Both of these abilities recover the SP resource, the Silver Bar. Fortunately, the animation cancel each other, so a lot of people are complaining that there's no real way to cancel it. You can cancel them with each other. So it's a really super simple combo. They're both the same button on the keyboard. It is F, F. And that's it. Now, neither of those skills are protected, so you got to be conscientious of when you're using them. It will end you off in the guard stance, though, which is a forward guard. Now, if you want to extend that combo and make it do a little bit more damage, you have a few options. So your first option is to chain the skills that are directly above the Face the Darkness ability. So that is this Ascension ability as well as this Rhyme Ice ability. So these two abilities can be chained immediately after that F spell that you cast, your second F, which is Face the Darkness. So if we just go ahead and show you that, and the button combo for these two skills is SF or WF, so forward F or SF. So it's really just Fs three times in a row with a button input in between. So F, F, and let's do SF. You go back, summon your guards, and they go forward and do some decent damage. So you can chain the skill that way, or you can chain the skill with WF at the end of it. So we can do F, F, WF to send the guards forward. Now, both of these two skills are super armored during the skill, so you'll get a little bit of protection while you're using them. They also end in the guard stance, so you're getting a frontal guard throughout the duration. Now, if you're a former ninja main and you want to do some crazier animation canceling, you can. Uh, you got the Vengeful Star ability into the Bitter Rain ability, so you can cancel the first hits of these abilities using the abilities following the double F press. So that sentence didn't make sense, but let me show you, and maybe it will make a little bit more sense. If you press F, F, R and B, then S, L, and B, you cancel the animations of all of those skills in that line. So it comes out a lot quicker than if you were to do it normally. Just to show you what it would look like if you weren't animation canceling, this would be the W R M B ability that we used as the third skill in there. So you can see it's got to wind up with the shield that we don't have when we use it after the double F. Likewise, the S L M B ability has a ground smash and then a side swipe in it. So we can skip that ground smash and go right to the side swipe, which is the higher damage hit. So once again, just to show you this combo, it is F, F, R and B, SLMB. So you can see that's almost as fast as using just the SLMB ability. None of that's protected at all, so I don't really know when you would use it, but hey, it's available to you. So that's it for the boring stuff. Now let's get into the actually broken stuff that you're going to be using all the time, and that is going to be these command skills. So before we get into the actual guards themselves, let's talk about the command skills. There are five of them. You have Frozen Earth, Fianchetto, Frozen Darkness, 
Stamina's Mate, and Blooming Icy Thorns. So there's not a whole lot of cancelling that you can do with these abilities, however, Stamina's Mate comes out really really quickly whenever you cast it, so that's sort of like a flow type ability. Not really in the sense like normal flows are, but it's still a pretty quick skill to cast. You then have Frozen Darkness, which can cancel two skills. It can cancel the Fianchetto ability as well as the Frozen Earth ability. And then you have the Fianchetto ability, which can be used to cancel after the Frozen Darkness ability, which means you can run a nice little combo of going Frozen Earth into Frozen Darkness, followed by Fianchetto. So to just show you that combo that we went ahead and talked about right here, you have to start with the Frozen Earth ability. The Frozen Earth ability has to be cast from the hot bar. It also has a pretty long cooldown. So you're going to need to start off with a hotbar skill for this. So you start with the hotbar skill. After that, it's shift RMB that you see me spamming right now on the keyboard here. And then from there, you just keep clicking right mouse button by itself. So just to show you those abilities played out, if we weren't using the animation canceling right there, it would be the two key on my hotbar, followed by the three key on my hotbar, followed by the five key on my hotbar. So you can see that it is significantly longer to cast it like that. I just went frame by frame on that. It was six seconds for the first method where you animation cancel, eight seconds for the uh, non-animation canceled version. And I guess just to show off the other two, we have Shift F, and then like I was saying before, Shift Q casts really, really quickly after any ability, so it's a solid one just to throw in it any rotation. Now, as you can see, those command skills burn through energy really, really quickly, so this is when you're gonna wanna use that little FF combo and then whatever other abilities you wanna use in between there. All right, so now we know how the command skills use all of our soldiers and send them out to do our bidding. Let's take a look at the soldiers themselves, and that is this set of skills right here under the secondary tree. It is the command passed pawn abilities here. So if you look at any of the command skills, it has a guard effect listed under the skill description. You can see it's in that like neon green color there, guards effect. Command possessed pawn, damage times one, six hits, blah, 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 blah. Cool. What does that even mean? The damage is based and the abilities are based off of this command passed pawn ability. So at the max rank right now that we have available to us in the absolute tree, you can see a ton of different effects, but the key ones to show right here are critical hit rate plus 100% on the abilities and the attacks that that pawn does. It'll hit 10 targets. It has a 15% DP reduction, 15%. And then finally, a movement speed minus 20% for five seconds. So most skills in the game apply a flat DP reduction of like 10, 15, 20, whatever. This is a percent DP reduction according to the skill description anyway. Now, I don't know if this is a typo or a bug or anything like that. And if you have more information on it, please feel free to call me a dumbass in the comment section below. I'd be happy to accept my fate. And honestly, it seems too broken to not be because 15% of 300 DP is 45. That would be the most damage reduction DP reduction skill in the game. And then that doesn't even apply to like PVE enemies that have hundreds and hundreds of defense. We're gonna get a huge knock of DP from this. It's kind of insane if it's accurate as the way it's written. So anyway, regardless, the catch with this skill is that you need to be in the guard stance before you use any ability because the summons from these abilities themselves will not trigger the effect. So if we go ahead and show you here just by using like Shift L and B to launch some guys forward, if we look at the enemy, he gets an attack down debuff, but he has not received the defense reduction. In order to get the defense reduction, you need to be blocking before you start the ability. So by blocking before you start the ability, you'll summon two little friends of yours. Then if you cast the ability itself, you'll send out four of them because you have the two extra ones. And now you'll see he has the defense debuff as well as the uh, movement speed debuff applied to him. So that is the catch. You have to be in the guard stance in order to apply the insane defensive reduction that you get from the, the soldiers here, as well as the movement speed reduction. Also, the guards effect damage is increased based on the number of pawns that you have. So the more pawns that you have out from having your shield up, it'll increase the damage even more from that ability. Now this can be chained into the same combo we showed you a few seconds ago. So if I go ahead and use the hot bar ability, shift R and B right into it. And then LMB again to summon four of those guys. You can see that you send a nutty amount of soldiers out. What did I think? 12 in total. Huge defense reductions. Even if it doesn't apply 15%, it's still a nutty amount of damage being done on a completely AoE down defense reduced zone. So anyway, that is what makes the guard stance so powerful. It is these little summons that you can bring out. They all have 100% crit rate. They all do 1100% base damage. They're really, really strong. So the next time you end up in the guard stance after dashing, be happy about it rather than sad. So one more thing to point out is that the fringe guards also get the ability effect applied to them. So for example, if I use the shift LMB ability here and I hit that guy way out here with this, he's not gonna get the uh, the reduction obviously because I didn't wasn't in the guard stance before, but you can see that he was hit by one of the outside ones. So if I then enter the guard stance and then use the same ability here and hit shift LMB again, you can see that the middle two guards didn't hit him, but the third and fourth outside guards would have hit that guy. And if we go over to him, you can see that he also has the defense debuff applied to him. Um, so the fringe guards get the effect, your additional guards get the effect. One more thing to note is that the shift Q guards, these guys, the horsemen, 
do not get any application of this defense down debuff. So Shift Q does not work with this minion summoning system. However, if you use Shift Q with these guards right here, the two guards in the front will have hit the guy and he will get the defense reduction, but the enemies that are further back that got hit by the horses will not have gotten the defense reduction. But yeah, guys, that pretty much summarizes everything I've learned so far. This is obviously neglecting any down attacks or anything like that, down attacks, back attacks, anything like that. Um, I was just looking for skills that flow quickly between each other. So if you have other combos or other things you've learned about playing the Nova class, feel free to share them in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, I do hope this is going to help you to figure out how to play the class, get a better understanding of it. If it is going to help you, let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you're not subscribed already, please consider it. Help subscribe my channel. You'll stay up to date when new content comes out. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you the next live stream over on Twitch today, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.